Edge of Seventeen is written and directed by Kelly Freeman Craig, who's a female director, which is actually really nice. Come to think of it, I think that this is the first female directed film that I've ever reviewed. This movie follows a 17 year old girl named Nadine, who is portrayed by Haley Steinfeld, and she essentially just straight up hates life. She gets in fights with her family members, she lost someone who she was very close with, and to top it off, her best friend is porking her brother. This movie pretty much just follows her through a period of maybe a little over a month and just shows her life. Now I don't know about you guys, but the plot of this movie sounds pretty terrible. This movie had all the potential in the world to be really melodramatic, really annoying, really superficial, and just really fake. But I was so surprised by this movie. I actually loved this film and I was just blown away at how hilarious and surprisingly accurate it was. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm actually 17. So I'm a a pretty good frame of reference for this movie because I was gonna be very quick to judge and say okay I know how kids act in high school let's see if this movie really portrays that accurately because there are so many films that are just so far off the mark with how people actually act in high school and it was so refreshing not having these characters that are just these unredeemables just horrible human beings like for example there's this one character at towards the end of this film who yeah he's kind of a douchebag but you kind of understand where he's coming from. He's still a tool, but I see where your head's at. Haley Steinfeld was terrific in this movie. I remember being really impressed with her from True Grit, the remake, which actually is a lot better than the original. But she is so good in this movie. She has ridiculous comedy chops. She really struck a chord with me and really hit my comedy button, and that is dry humor. And that really impressed me because I did not know that she was this funny. And she also gives a really good dramatic performance. There are several scenes in this movie where she completely just breaks down, and I was like, Oh damn. Woody Harrelson portrays a teacher in this movie that is really the only character that she feels like that she can talk to. Dear God, this man is so funny. I feel like this role was written for Woody Harrelson. If you like Woody Harrelson's humor and how he typically acts, then you probably know what I'm talking about. He stole every scene he was in, in my opinion. My only complaint with him is that I wish he would have toned back the humor on some of the scenes. And I know that's not his fault, I know that's the way that the script is written, but I think that some scenes would have hit a lot lot harder if there wouldn't have been a joke in there because I was like, uh, you had me and you just kind of lost me with that joke. It's not that the joke wasn't funny, I just thought that the scene would have been a little bit more effective if you would have just kept it dramatic. But as a whole, I was completely surprised how much emotional weight that this movie has. It's a comedy, but I say that the majority of this movie is fairly serious. There are several really hard-hitting, emotional scenes. This movie has so much heart and it is so likable, it really reminded me of an updated version of a John Hughes movie. I loved this film and I was completely blown away how much I liked this movie. I've seen all the wide release movies that come out this weekend between Fantastic Beasts, Bleed for This, and this movie, The Edge of Seventeen, and without a doubt, this one is the one that I recommend the most. I hope Fantastic Beasts doesn't bury this movie because this movie is far superior in my opinion and I really think it deserves recognition. So please go out and support this film. It's not very big. It's not going to make that much money and I think it really needs to be seen because it's that good. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope you liked today's video and if you did click on the link down below. Subscribe to my channel to see more movie reviews and movie related things. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.